Hello, yes, and welcome. Bit of a wet block of ash. Been drying in the shed for a year or so, but it's quite thick, so um, it might move a bit, but I'm gonna use this to make a box for loose leaf tea. Tea bag tea. I don't know, I've just gone off it. I've become far too posh for my own good. Okay, so the first thing to do is to mount it between centres. And as you can see, I've got my Vicmark set up with the bed extension and swing away. Whew, that does make a lovely bit of difference. I've marked the centres. Uh, I'm putting it on a step centre mounted in a chuck at one end and a ring centre at this end. Make sure the speed is down low. Right, let's get cameras. Turn it by hand to make sure it's going to clear the tool rest. Speed down low. There we go. That knot is getting more troublesome. I think I'm going to have to lose this piece of wood so I'm going to make the lid from this section <coughs> and the box from this section and I'm going to cut this bit out. It's a shame, it's a nice feature but I can't keep all the bits of wood. One day I might catch one of them. So I've got lid and I've got bottom. So the thing to do now is clean up this face and then hollow out the lid. So let's come round to the face of it. Now we turn our attention to the base. the two surfaces and clean up this surface. little bit of a paper gasket no point rushing this last bit just going to clean up the face first Now that's going to sit on that inner rim here, so not quite the right size yet.
Now, probably, I'm going to have to remake this. Because there's a little split in it. That is annoying. bit because it's got a bit of tension in it from that little split. Right now will you come out lid? Yes. And there we have double double lidded T box and here it is my double lidded Japanese teapot tea box nice solid secure oh suction fit the lids the inner lid unfortunately I'm gonna have to make this again um, there's a little split in it. Um, it's a shame. I love the smell of cherry. So I will be redoing that. Um, if you look closely at the close-ups, you'll see that it doesn't quite sit flush with the top. It's a bit uneven. I think partly because that split when I forced it in, it, um, it wasn't really running particularly true. So that will be remade. It's got a very nice pleasing click, hasn't it? As you put that last lid on. Here we go. Nice and solid and secure. I'll let you know if my tea tastes any better. Until next time, thanks for watching. Right, let's get rid of these failed bits. Time for a bonfire indoors. Mm. Might I get something out of that? Might get a little bowl.